it something like a hymn. My wrist on gold just like a hymn. Live life bad just like a hymn. Like what up, what up, YouTube fam? It's your boy FLA back at you. And uh, this video is going to be a quick little install video. Um, I don't know if you recall a while back, I had a, a video that I posted that um, I was talking about my screen. It was starting to bubble up, it was starting to mess up on me. And, um, you know, started having issues. It would like switch stations on its own, just start messing up. Um, but I could still hear music out of it and all that, so you know I put it off as long as I could. But uh, I came across a pretty good deal on a used one, so I went ahead and bought that. Just got here today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this fixed, and you know I'm gonna show you step by step everything you need to know, like I usually do. And that's it, man. Let's get it. I'm excited to get my screen fixed, man. Uh, you know when the screen messed up, I hadn't been able to pair my phone to the car or nothing like that, so. Uh, it's been a long time coming, ready to get this back in there. So I'm going to show you uh, everything you need to know in case you have similar uh, issues. So let's get it. Alright, alright man, I just want to show you uh, what I've been dealing with and what the screen looks like real quick, you know, before I get started. Um, obviously the screen wasn't that bad, but uh, I had a case of uh, anger management one night. I got tired of the screen, you know, acting up, messing up on me, man. I got frustrated and... You know, took a couple blows to it, but uh, yeah. But as you see, you see, I still got music, and you know, thank God for the little controls behind your uh, your steering wheel. You know, you can switch stations and switch the input. You know, whether Bluetooth and all that, you could control all that back here. So that's basically been the only thing that's been saving me. But yeah, man, let's try to uh, get this out and um. Uh, get the new one in there you know obviously I gotta take this light trim off first I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you how to pop this panel out alright before I get started man as you see there's the new screen that came out of an 18 charger so you know it's one year newer than mine so I'm hoping it's got the, the new uh, layout you know the new screen on it so we're gonna see about that but one thing I am gonna mention that was brought to my attention um, just now earlier today uh, when you buy one of these used screens and you go to put it in your car, it's going to ask for like a security code. You know, obviously a security code because it's coming from another car. It's not the factory screen in your car. So it's going to ask for the factory security code. So I had to find, um, you know, do a little research and somebody put pointed me in the right direction to uh, an eBay store. And the guy gets the code for you. So uh, I hit him up and he got me the code. Came out to $22, so that's another $22. I paid $500 for the screen, so $522 is the total cost so far. Obviously, I'm doing the install myself. So, yeah, let me, uh, you know, get the panel out and we just kick this thing off, man. So, obviously, you're going to get your little panel tools. I'm going to see which one is the best one to use. It's probably going to be this one. I've taken the panel off before. Let me see. Yeah, it's probably one of these two. But yeah, let me uh, take the panel off now. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to show you step by step. Alright, so basically, you know, you just slide this around here. And I think like every so often there's like these clips in here. You, you want to be very careful. You don't want to break none of these clips. They got like metal hangers on top of these plastic clips. And it clips in there. So, you know, you want to be careful. You don't want to break them clips. And then, you know, you just go around and pop, pop them out the clip, you know, a little bit at a time all the way around so you get the whole panel off. So, I'm going to, uh, you know, start that process here real quick. And then, um, once I get a couple off, uh, I'll show you, you know, what it's looking like. Hang tight. Alright, you see... Let me see. You see like the little hangers right there. They go in there. 
that's what it looks like. It's got these little metal pieces right here. So you just want to work your way around and you know pop it out. Just take your time. Make sure you don't break nothing, man. And then it just comes right out. So let me get it completely off, and we can go from there. Alright, there it is. Got the screen off. I mean, uh, the dash part. Once again, be very careful because I just broke one of the tabs. And then right here, these, for some reason, it's only held on there with, like, fabric and foam. So it got kind of hung up in there, so you got to be careful. You know, I had to use, like, a little screwdriver to get it unhooked right here. You see? It's just, like, fabric and foam. So... Got hung up there, but I got it out, and I lost like one of the little metal clips. See, it's got these little clips. This one like fell off. I'm gonna try to reach up in there and see if I can find it. If I can't, ain't no biggie, man. It's not gonna fly off or nothing like that. But yeah, so you know, got one right here on top. Got two right here. Two beneath the air vents. Two beneath there. Two. And these two right here, one in the corner. So, yeah. So, let's get back up in here. It's looking like a Phillips. Regular old Phillips. Four screws. So I'm going to go ahead and yoke that out right now. Let's get it. And, uh, you know, you got the four screws. Obviously, be careful taking them out. Because uh, if they fall down in there, you're going to catch hell getting them out. Man, You're going to have to find some replacement screws. So. To avoid the headache, just take them out slow. That's it. So let me pull this thing out and see what it do. Alright, so that's what it looks like. You know, all these got like little tabs. You definitely don't want to be breaking none of these. So, you know, I'm going to take my time to figure out, you know, it's looking like you just push right here, probably like a little push tab. So just take them out slow one by one, and then obviously you get the new screen and put everything exactly where it goes. And that should be it, man. It's not really that complicated. So let me uh, get this out, and then I'll get the new one over here. Alright, so these three right here came out pretty easy. They're just a push tab. This one has got the push tab on the bottom. See right here, you got to push this down. So it's like that. You gotta push it down, and pull it out. And then there's another important thing. This is kind of just like the PCM. It's got a lock thing right here. So you gotta unlock it. And then when you know when you put the new one in, you put it there and then lock it back in. The PCM has something very similar just like this when you're connecting it. So we'll get this out, put the new one in, and we should be in business. Alright, so right off the back, I notice it's a little bit different. Um, the 17 guys, these two things, I don't know what they're for, they weren't even used. So basically it's six plugs, these four, I mean these four, and then these two, which, you know, basically the colors are almost the same. And then right here, and then the gray thing. So, I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens, but... You can obviously tell it's a little different between the 17 and 18 model. I don't know what these two are used for or, or what they're used for. So let me put it in there and see what happens, man. I uh, put it in there, you know, basically color matched uh, the, the, the color matched the wires. You know, I'm gonna crank it up and put this code in and see what happens, man. Hopefully, uh, everything works out. Alright, I got it put in, it turned on, as soon as I put it in, um, SRT popped up, so who knows, this could have came out of a Hellcat or something, man, but, uh, as you see, I put the, the code in, it says, you can account remove, system restart will occur shortly, so I'm gonna sit here and see what happens, man, and, you know, with my luck, my battery's dying too, so, I'll be right back in a minute with the finished product. I'll let you boy. All right, all right. Looking like uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Um, 
you know, I obviously got to set my Sirius back up to this radio because uh, when you got Sirius, each radio has its own radio ID, which is that one right there. So I'm going to have to call them and uh, switch my shit over ASAP because I can't live without Sirius. But uh, as you see, everything working. What's it called? Backup camera back on point. Let me, uh, let me see. This shit got nav. Better have nav. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we Gucci. We Gucci, we Gucci, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, man. So, now you just repeat the steps, you know, backwards, man. Put the four screws in and put the dash back in. That's it. Pretty damn simple. So, I told you I'm back out here. I'm about to flood the two. Let's get it, bro. First time in the channel, hit the subscribe button, man. Like, follow. You already know. Comment. Hit me up. I let your boy FLA Hemi over and out. Another one done. I do this shit. I let your boy.